can. When John can. But I, I kind of want something a little bit more... Uh, yeah, substantial. Yeah. More regular. Something more substantial. Call of Cthulhu. Look, I'm just saying. It came out recently. It's Call of Cthulhu. It's Cthulhu. He's on the phone. He's been calling for days. And he doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> He has a very important thing to He's tell you. He's got something to say, and you keep screaming. The call. doctor what results does came tell in. Me these things? The doctor results came in. And Where's my you, secretary? She's and fine. We all know. We all know that Nick, whenever it comes to p- answering the phone, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no, I uh. And he- heck, just keeping appointments, man. He said to me, "We'll be here three thirty. It's almost five now. Yeah. It's past five. <laughs> I, I, I expected, I was actually joking earlier, I was like, okay, so he says he'll be here 3.30, so I won't expect him till 6. <laughs> I'm very bad at time, because so. then things get in the way, and then like... I woke up at like 3. <laughs> you didn't tell me that, you texted me, you're like, 3.30, it's like, hey, I am awake, I'm like, okay. I woke up at 7. Listen, I had to actually wake up. Oh, fair. I opened my eyes at 3, <laughs> but I actually woke up at 3.30. Fair. So, we're kind of... Welcome to Jacob's Gaming Weekend. Hey, what's up, guys? Hello. Rob and Nick are here. Hey! I'm Rob. So, we weren't no, really you... expecting to do this episode... Let's get this out of the way quickly. Okay. We weren't really... Ex- we were planning to do this episode... This game at some point. We decided to push it up because Steve Hellenberg, the creator of Spongebob, has sadly passed away at the age of 57 from ALS. Ripping Really... Piece. Really tragic. The man is a legend and will be remembered along the likes of all the greats like Hanna Barbera and Matt Groening, creator of The Simpsons, Walt Disney, and whoever created the Looney Tunes. <laughs> the the, the legends. Whoever that guy was. Uh, the Warner Brothers, I guess. I, their names were escaping me. Um, yeah. So we'll call them Tim and Jeffrey. Tim and Jeffrey. I prefer Philip. Tim and Jeffrey Warner. No. Tim Warner? and Eric. No. Tim and Eric made him. Okay, settled. <laughs> Boom. So, as you can see, I, the last I played this game was uh, Jesus was, was three years ago. Oh my god! And, and you barely got anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got bored fairly quickly. <laughs> so, that's why we're here. If only we had alcohol. If only we had alcohol. <laughs> Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today, it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today is the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command! One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius. Answer yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. So what the f- is happening in this game right oh, now? Oh yeah, you haven't played it. So Plankton is. Uh, I guess should we just belt up and let's let it go. Oh. So. Oh. Why do you have that switch installed? So basically, no. yeah. Why was? Why does that exist? <laughs> well, in case you know you ever want your robot army not to obey you. There you go. There you go. It's almost like it's a MacGuffin to a video game plot. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm guessing I'm guessing that Plankton made all these robots to help him take over the world, and they're gonna do just that, but they also turned on him. Yes. Because he had the switch set to don't obey! Silly Plankton! Silly Plankton. Where's your college degree now? <laughs> <laughs> it's going up in flames. And then, of course, the only person in the entire world who could possibly stop this evil robot army... Patrick. Is Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> My, my commentary is that Plankton's one of those people that has, like, a PhD in some form of engineering. <laughs> and he, what he does with that PhD is chooses to open a restaurant and try to steal another recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. How much money could you make off that degree? <laughs> Why you open a restaurant? You can open a restaurant and have someone else run it. No, you gotta run it yourself instead of making... Bank! 
<laughs> well, I think the biggest problem is his restaurant is named after a bucket of dead fish. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah, kind I, of like the cannibalism bucket for them, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like the human bucket. Uh, but the Krabby Patty has crab burgers. Yeah. Is crab, like, does, is, does, is crab but considered, like, not people? <laughs> I mean, you never know. You never know. It's okay. It, it's fine. Don't worry about it. All things are possible. Our, 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 no, I can't say that on a recording. <laughs> I was going to make some sort of reference to current politics and a certain very um, controversial persecuted group of people. <laughs> and how some people don't see them as people. <laughs> and... <laughs> what's, what's, what's slightly tragic is that uh, you could be referring to any number of people. That's general enough that it could be applying to really anybody. <laughs> exactly. Except for white people. Except for the... Unless, you're, unless you ask uh, very yeah, diehard yeah, conservatives. Sure like really <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're being targeted. <laughs> They're the... Price. No, it's like that one picture that I saw online. Um, it was like this older white woman. She had like this fake like target put on her put on her head. And she's like, this is very accurate. And then the one response was, this is actually super accurate because it's a fake target and you put it on yourself. <laughs> I think that this is going to be a very long day. Explore the rest of Spongebob's house. Make me. Explore it. Explore these. Explore it. You know, I, I do kind of like how the design of the game kind of does, like, explore all of the current episodes of Spongebob at the time. It's yeah, like, well, like, everything, first... At least most of the stuff you see in the game, you have seen before. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's it, it was made in the golden age of... Spongebob, so it's like seasons one and two, the best of those two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before um, Spongebob sort of took a turn. Well, before, before the creator left yeah. the show. And the, Nickelodeon's like, hey, you're still making us money, so you're going to keep making it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Which, of course, they're going to keep doing. Of course. Because that's just, you know, the American industry. You just suck it dry until it doesn't make any money anymore and you can get rid of it. Yep. And exactly. buy something new. Exactly. You 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 either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. But or you know, suck. capitalism it just works. <laughs> <laughs> it just it works. It just works. If you do it and you do it right and you don't fuck it up, it works. <laughs> just works. Promoted to head shiny object collector. That's not Clancy. That's not. not. That's not Clancy Brown. No, it's not. That's Hold not, on. That's not the Kurgan. Well, you're skimping out here. Well, it sounds that's... like they took Patchy the Pirate and made him do Mr. Krabs' voice. <laughs> well, Patchy the Pirate is Patchy, Patchy the Pirate is played by Tom Kenny, so it's probably Tom Kenny doing a Clancy Brown impression. You know, I can see it. I was saying it's not too bad. It's not awful. These it's are shiny true. objects. Shiny objects are very valuable and may be traded to help SpongeBob along in his quest. <laughs> yeah. SpongeBob will need to collect many shiny objects in order to complete his quest and defeat the robot menace. Yeah. Five different colors of shiny objects. <laughs> Red, yellow, green, blue, and purple. Red is the most common and the least valuable. Yeah. Purple is the most rare and therefore the most valuable. More valuable shiny objects are usually harder to find. Yeah. In more dangerous places. Yeah. I like it because, like, they don't exactly know what it is either. It's just a shiny object. They're just like, they're just like, what are we going to call this random, oh. like, <laughs> object that has this weird but distinct shape? How about we... Just call it a shiny object. Good print. <laughs> they did it. It's like a restaurant. It's like restaurants. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a restaurant. There's yeah, that's go. like the only. That's why the only are you thing. trying to complicate it, Rob? They're shiny and they're an object. <laughs> there's a sh there's a shopping center near my place. It's got like a GameStop and everything. It's got the most creative title <laughs> I could ever imagine. Shoppers World. <laughs> Which I'm like, how long did it take you to fart that one out? <laughs> Like, super creative. Super creative. Well, so we got a bunch of stores here. It's called Shoppers World. Yeah. All right. You're in the quick. world and you're shopping. There you it's go. It's a great time. Hey, it's SpongeBob's room. SpongeBob may jump by pressing the X button. Pressing the X button while SpongeBob is in mid jump will cause him to double jump for extra height. But SpongeBob can only double jump once per jump. Yeah. Much like most games. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> his horn did the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It, it did the thing. He did the Whee. thing. Whee. That, that's a, that's a very bouncy diving board you got there, Jacob. 
Oh, look at this. Maybe that's kind look of Look at the this point. picture of him. Aww. Let's just face it. Look at how look at how much they just love having <laughs> that picture. Face of evil. They, they, like, yeah. Merman Man is all like, eh, this is all right. Merman Barnacle. Man clearly doesn't know where he is. Barnacle he Boy. doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> Barnacle Boy would like to be doing anything else. <laughs> Literally anything else. He spent his whole life a sidekick. What's he supposed to do? <laughs> Every villain is, is lemons. lemons. <laughs> this, is, this is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Yeah. Like this. Oh. And then they just injure me. Because, you know, this yeah. is just the same thing. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area over again. SpongeBob may get back the underwear in the body, 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 body. I wonder if I actually don't think. I think it only does that once, because I think I was about to say, I wonder if I could, like, keep hitting that spot <laughs> <body laughs> and not collect the un underwear and just eventually, like, die on the tutorial. So, <laughs> when me and, my, me and my brothers were kids, you know, we had this game. And being the low, impatient craps we are. We just skipped through all the tutorial stuff, and so when we got to that sign, we would be randomly hit by a safe, and we're like, what the heck? Why don't we just get killed by a safe? And it's like we never actually realized that it was a demonstration. It's a demonstration of the house. <laughs> yeah, when you play enough field games, we're like, obviously, those are the hit points. Like, you know, you collect that, you get more life. So you don't need a demonstration. <laughs> really? It's like just a random safe falls from the sky and hits you. It's like, what the heck, man? Well, it, it's uh, one of those things where, like, a I lot thought of... I could trust you, video games. <laughs> you lied to me. You betrayed me. A lot of people, like, they sit there and they have the issue with a lot of modern games because it involves a lot of tutorials. Like, for example, Xenoblade Chronicles. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Hello, Spongebob. I can see his eyes. Ah! I can see his eyeballs. Hey, hey. <laughs> But stuff Too like uh, for it's stuff like Xenoblade Chronicles. You just sit there and you're like, okay, cool, tutorial's done, and it's like five hours into the game. Why do you need that much tutorial? <laughs> if your game has that much complexity, isn't there a better way to do it than just five fifty hours billion tutorials? That was that was one of my issues with um, Monster Hunter. Oh yeah? Yeah, we were, like, given- I love Monster Hunter World. I played the absolute ton out of that, and I still am going to go back and play some more. Because they keep updating and all that, but... Through the entire main quest line, the entire main quest line was basically an elongated tutorial. Given it wasn't a terrible tutorial. Like, it wasn't boring by any means, but it was still the fact that, that, that it was so a tutorial. tutorial. <laughs> and it's like... I, I remember sending my friends, uh, my other friends, a picture of me on the credit scene and be like, "Well, finally finished the tutorial. Here we go." <laughs> now the real thing. Uh, now so the I actual love, game. I love how like SpongeBob couldn't possibly think of a better way to get to higher place, but then to put a beach ball on the ground and try to hop on it to get to that higher area. Yep. Smart. Ladders, steps, ah. stairs, nah. Beach balls. Beach uh, ball. The true innovation of transportation to higher places. It's not a boulder! It's a rock! A rock! <laughs> oh, the pioneers used to ride these babies for miles! <laughs> okay, so... Just getting a message like, Have you watched JoJo's Bizarre Adventure? I'm sorry! I have not watched it yet! What's wrong with you? I'm sorry! <laughs> Seriously, like, what kind of weeb are you? I just like, know, that, the, shows, I just know that I had to thank that show for bringing, uh, Yes back into the mainstream. <laughs> <laughs> After so many decades of being no. <laughs> <laughs> out in the wilderness. So, alright, pretty much we've, uh... Cool, we got the good bits. Well, and it's been about 18 minutes, I think. Seriously? Yeah, yeah. so I'd good say Lord. this is a good place to stop episode Wait, did one. you just tiptoe around the place? Yeah, you yes. did. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot <laughs> about this! <laughs> That's great! Look how he thinks he's being sneaky. He's, he's like, ah, like, look at you. Sweetie, sweetie, I'm coming for that booty. Sweetie, <laughs> <laughs> sweetie, I'm gonna get that booty. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to uh, check out more of the Gaming Weekend and more of Saturday to Caffeine. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video with your friends. If you like what you see, subscribe and ding the bell to be notified when new videos come out. We'll see you all next week. If you Bye. really love us. Bye. What were you going to say? If you really love us, write in the comments. Rob stinks like butt. Uh, you